Hello and welcome to Jambo Fan TV. Uh, we didn't stop the party. Uh, in fact, we uh, we got our pants pulled down and our asses smacked. Uh, Gordon's with me, uh, and uh, but we'll go go over the game. We'll try and stay as positive as we can. At the end of the day, it's Celtic. You know, money talks. There's a lot of millions been spent over there, um, but. I don't know. I'll, I'll start off, Gordon. Normally, I start off by throwing a question at you. I uh, was a little bit disappointed in terms of the way that well, we started okay. Uh, we didn't do too, too bad at the beginning. Uh, I think I was, I was saying to you before, Cathro says that we, we stood toe to toe with them, but it, 2 0 at our time, and, and they, they were away with it. Uh, am I being unfair? In a sense, I think you are, Scott. Um, we, in, in the first half, being at the game, I was, I wasn't actually unhappy with how hard I'd actually played at half time. Um, there was a few people who actually booed them off the park at half time, and I was quite surprised by that. Um, we had our chances in the first half. We actually, I think if you count them on, if you actually count Celtic's chances in the first half, they were probably had about three chances in the first half. They had a disallowed goal, and they actually scored twice. And I do not think, or honestly don't think, they had another chance in that first half. Uh, whereas we were pressing forward. We had uh, a number of times where Jamie Walker threw the inside left position, and uh, he probably should have shot across the goalie and hoped for the best. Um, we, had a, we had a chance that uh, Craig Gordon parried, uh, which, which I'm sure that most of the Hearts fans will remember that uh, there was a bit of booing on Craig Gordon's uh, case uh, for, for maybe 15 minutes of that after that because he parried the ball and he I think it was Johnson maybe um, perhaps perhaps clipped him in the head uh, and it, it probably was a bit of overreaction for Gordon. He, he probably wasn't he wasn't as injured as he says he was. Um, and yeah, I, I, I actually thought we were quite good the first half, to be quite honest with you, Scott. <laughs> well, as somebody's already pointed out to me tonight on on Twitter, it, it looks different on TV. That's what that's what I got told. Uh, and since coming home, I've, I've I've gone over it and gone over it. Uh, I, I don't know. I just. Did you not think that on a lot of it? You, I, I agree with you in terms of uh, you know the number of chances. I mean, they they just uh, they had quality. I mean, the one that you're on about with Walker, yeah, I would have liked him to have, have shot with his left foot, but he was desperate to try and get it across onto his right. But uh, in, in terms of being first to the ball or, or competing, they they just seem to find a, a lot more space than than we did and. Uh, at, at two nil, you know, it's it's an uphill battle. You you're going into the second half, and I just felt heads were going down. There wasn't, a, a, for the want of a better word, there wasn't a lot of heart at hearts. And that, that's the way I, I I saw it. Let's go into the second. I mean, what, what were you thinking about the second half? What kind of a team talk can can you be given? I think the team talk at half time must have said we we'll have to get the first goal in the second half, and. It, Obviously, we never. And uh, very, very on in the second half, um, there was a pass back which Hamilton made uh, a bit of a cock up off as uh, as he's prone to do. He's kicking, and uh, we got we got off with it. Basically, the the linesman flagged for offside. Where I think it was it Novak that that, that sort of slid in to cut the cross out and put it on his own net. Um, and we got we got offside because the guy behind them was was probably off, was offside at the time. Um, the second half was basically men against boys at the end of the day. They the abs they got the first goal. The vital part of the second half was who who got the first goal. They got the first goal, and it, it was a short of the part from the master that to be quite honest with you. In terms of, I mean, I know I'm going back over it again. They, they, they're a, you know, in terms of revenue. Uh, they can afford uh, top, top strikers and what have you, and they can afford to pay the wages. Uh, our strike force today, uh, I mean, I'll, 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 I'll take, I'll take uh, Johnson. You take, you take the other lad. Uh, tell, tell us about uh, 
Tell us about. I'm setting this one up for myself, now, Anna. Uh, tell us about that. Uh, I mean, I thought I thought he he, he ran a lot. Uh, he did, and he got in behind a bit. Uh, but at the end of the day, he was looking frustrated again. Well, I think I think you've got the problem explaining what the hell Johnson was doing today. To be quite honest with you, uh, I thought. I thought Goncalves was actually okay today. I thought he caused him a lot of problems. He got he got down either wing and he and he actually in the first half he he, he, he took the ball and so he in the channels and he and he excuse me and he he, he, he took them on and he and he got shots away and he he was far better than Johnson without a shadow of a doubt. I thought Johnson was absolutely terrible today, to be quite honest with you. De- definitely, definitely. I mean, there were times when, when he when he got the ball, uh, not Johnson. When when we got the ball and he was looking up and he got in behind Johnson. Let, let's let me let me. I mean, I put it on Twitter today, and when people are watching this, make comments at the bottom whether you agree with me or whether you don't agree with me. Come on Twitter, come on Facebook. I'm, I'm easy. I, I I described it as the elephant in the room today, and I think someone needs to be saying something. And I'm not just basing it on this one. Me, me and you have had many conversations on, on Johnson. Uh, he's lightweight. Uh, it's, it's almost like that Walt Disney. Do you know the, the, the Bambi when he can't find his feet? He, he's just nothing, nothing about him in terms of, in terms of what's, he, what's his job to score goals. He doesn't really do that. Uh, okay, let's have a look to see whether he's assisting. He doesn't really do that. Uh, okay, maybe he can hold the ball up and bring him to his midfield. No, no, I, I don't see that from him. I don't see him contribute. And when we start to lows, I've been look, sitting through social media today and and looking at it, and the vast majority of people are, are talking about about um, having a having a clear out as such and having a look at what players we've got and how we need to how we need to sort of build for the future. Because if 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 Hearts are looking at a top three, this isn't the side. And players like Johnson. They're not going to cut it. They're not going to cut it. They're not going to cut it in this league. And I think even if they drop down uh, and got something, they're not, they're not. They're going to sit on a good contract, aren't they? But even if he went into the, a league below up in Scotland, I don't think he could cut it there. Yeah, I, I would agree. I mean, I think Hart's problem at the moment is the, is probably the same problem as Hibs had in 2012. We've, we've got guys who are who have been signed in January who are only here till May. And, and, and I think now if you're if you're signed sub by Sunday in January and you're only here till May, how can you possibly say you put everything in it because you're you're going to be looking for somewhere else to go in May? Um, I don't know I don't know when Johnson contracts uh, expires actually to be quite honest with you, but we've we've got a number of players who are sort of in that position at the moment, and uh, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough one. I mean, Gukovic is here for three and a half years. Um, I think uh, Struna is only here for a year uh, or, or till the summer. Um, Hughes is only here till the summer. I, I wish Hughes was playing today, actually, to be honest with you. Arlenetz is only here till the summer. Julius is only here till the summer. I mean, what do you do with these? They're just not... They can't be committed as, as, a, as a person who's maybe going to be going to be here in a, in a couple of years time and hoping that well hearts are progressing obviously in that period yeah i mean i, I sort of get that uh, i think my, my, my counter argument would be in terms of people paying the money uh to go along and see that game they're earning a damn sight more than the the, the average fan and the, the you know johnson should be he, 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 he you've got to play if any player out there that's coming up to the end of a contract or wants a new contract has, has got to give it everything that they've got. Uh, they owe it to the fans. They owe it to themselves in, in, you know, as, as a professional. And I'm, I've said it before when Scott came on and you've got yourself. I don't believe that players go out there to to play bad or, you know, but sometimes I just think certain players get caught out uh, in terms of skill set. And I think in, in the past he's had, you know, one or two good games. And you know, and people have raved about him. I mean, you know, it's it's easy for us to come on in and do reviews about beating Hamilton and, and teams like that. But these these are the games where you know you should be up for it. This is this is like a it is it's a massive game in terms of 
in terms of stopping Celtic from having a party at our place, which they did, tying flags to the to the you know to the goalposts and stuff like that. No, we, we should have been up for that, and he should have been up for that. Uh, there were a lot of players. Were not I, I, normally I, when I come on Gordon, I, I talk about Walker, and I say that you know I think he's got heaps of potential uh, in terms of, of what he can do. But I, I always say I don't think he can work hard enough sometimes. But today I was watching him, and we, I, I want to talk about a leader in a minute. So just start to think about that. But I think. <laughs> It was almost like he wanted to take one or two more touches than he needed to, and I think that's the pressure of, of wanting, wanting to make you know that effort, that extra effort to, to to almost carry some people and make make chances. And I think that was at the detriment to his to his uh, to his game today. Do you think that? Possibly, well, definitely. Actually, when he got in positive positions, he, when he got in attacking positions, he was. Uh, Perhaps a bit hesitant, perhaps uh, looking across the ball, across the box. But I've, I've got to be honest. I thought I thought Walker's commitment was 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 pretty good today, and uh, he was probably a wee bit unlucky to be booked earlier on. Um, I, th- I thought the tackle on uh, Forrest probably didn't deserve a booking, and he only got booked because he'd actually he's maybe shown a wee bit of petulance. And he's challenged with Brown just before that, and that's probably why he got booked. Um, and that maybe sort of calmed his game down a little bit. But he, I actually thought Jamie wasn't too bad today. Actually, he, he sort of, I, I think I think the commitment from the whole Hearts team today was was quite good. Uh, the, I mean, the, the, I'm looking at it wasn't it like a heroic throwing themselves in ever in performance but it was better than it's been in the last few weeks if you like we, we, we actually got in their faces in the first half and we tried to win the ball back quite high up the park and and cause them problems and I thought we did that in the first half and I thought I thought the first half was all right but yeah it was it was it was, uh, it was men against boys in the second half it was definitely yeah yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, in terms of in terms, of, I saw the side when it when it came out, and I thought, yeah, yeah, that's like, you know, it, it can compete. Uh, where do we, where do we go in terms of uh, you know this has been and gone now, and we can't sort of dwell on it. Um, where do we go in terms of you know the the, the end of the season? Uh, what 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 have we got to play for? Is it is it about is it about blooding some young players, you know, seeing who we've got, who, who can compete? Uh, you know, they're coming through. Uh, and, you know, we know, at, uh, we know at other clubs where young players are given an opportunity, uh, you know, they, they, they do a good job. How else are they going to get that experience? Is that where we're going? Or do we carry on putting the same 11 out and, and hoping that something comes good? Oh, that's a different one because I mean I actually actually personally think and and it really cheeses me off to say it <laughs> the our, our defence and our goalkeeper is as bad as a, as a defence and a goalkeeper as a goalkeeper as I've seen for a long time. I think Struna's got the potential to be a really good right back. I think Novak's got the potential to be a good centre half, but I do not see anything in other night as in so that it's going to be that is is not going to put hearts under pressure because they've uh, i don't know if you know what, you know what i'm trying to say that they they are just a, a poor pair of players basically that they i mean there, there must have been about three or four occasions where they almost repeated the the, the mistake against aberdeen and being shot with pass backs jack hamilton had to come down and basically bail them out and Jack Hamilton's obviously is not, is not exempt from the blame because he um, he duffed a, duffed a pass back which led to a, a goal that which, which was ruled offside and then he duffed a pass back which led to their third goal, fourth goal perhaps, I, I can't even remember which goal it was <laughs> um, but uh, I think our defence and our goalkeeper is an absolute shambles at the moment is an absolute shambles, I think Everyone in front of that, 
apart from what you said earlier on about Johnson, I, I, I wouldn't play Johnson, but I think the other the other five players are at, they're probably that, that's terrible. So yeah, we've only got five players that are actually quite good. <laughs> that that um, apart from apart from Johnson in front of the back four, we're okay. I think I think we're okay. I think um, Kerry Walker. I, th- I sometimes think Julius. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember the, the others. But yeah, I think I think one was we're not we're not as bad, but. Every mistake seems to be costing us at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I, I mean, the big great lad, you know, I raved about him when he came in, but uh, yeah, he seems to have gone off the ball. And some of the passes he were putting today together uh, was, you know, he, he was almost selling people short. They were difficult passes and they were putting the player that he was passing to under pressure straight away. Uh, not sure what's going on with him. Uh, but I know that, like I said, I like youth, and, and, and uh, me personally, I just think, what, what are we playing for this year? Uh, you know, the, 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 we're not going to win. <laughs> we're not going to get into third place, let's be honest about it. Uh, but I'd like to see some some players give him premiership uh, experience, uh, just to see how, how, how they're going to do. Uh, I don't want them being booed off at half-time and all the rest of it. Uh, but just just to be giving them opportunities to see, and I know people say, "Oh well, we haven't really got anybody coming through," but I disagree. Uh, I think you know, just to give people twenty minutes here, there, and everywhere, uh, just to see to see what they what what they do. I'll, I'll give you a positive today. Uh, Hearts ladies won today against Jean Field Swifts. They won two 0 I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. I'm well. <laughs> Any any Hearts team that wins, I'm a happy man. If Hearts, any Hearts team that wins, honestly. <laughs> exactly, exactly. They follow us on 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 uh, Twitter. Uh, so if anyone's wanting to go on there, they're um, Hearts Ladies FC, uh, and they're also on Facebook. So it's Hearts of Middle Orvian Women and Girls FC. Uh, so give them a follow if you can. Uh, like I said, it's a, it's a positive. Anything anything Hearts that's winning. Um, I, I don't. I, I, we're we're going to wrap it up now, Gordon. For uh, there's not a lot more we can say on it to tell you the truth. There's no point in really coming across a a, a man of a man of the match because I I can't really think of one. Uh, have you got any final final thoughts on the the game today? I, I don't know. It's, it's, it was a it was a funny funny game today. We actually. In my opinion, in my opinion, we did not deserve to be two 0 down at half time. We the, the the third goal, as I said earlier on, was absolutely vital in the match, and it was just one of the games. If, if, if Celtic are far better than us, and when they, when they get this, when they they've got no pressure on them, um, they can relax, they can play football. They're, they're, they're a far better side. They're, they're by far the best side in Scotland. By absolute miles, the best side in Scotland. They, they will win 10 in a row, eh? whether the Rangers fans like it or not, unfortunately. Eh, whether well, whether the Hearts fans like it or not, the Aberdeen fans like it or not, they, they will win 10 in a row. And it's just... If, uh, if we just have to write off today, basically. And um, Well, on, on, on Wednesday night, we've got St. Johnston away. Who are our main challengers for fourth place? And, and my my personal opinion is that I'd be quite happy not not to make Europe this season. It might be controversial, but uh, I I would probably like the whole summer to to rebuild on, on what if we are trying to rebuild. It's a it's a bit of, we're a bit of a mess at the moment. Um, and if we're going to give Carthro a chance. We've got to, got to maybe give him the whole summer to rebuild instead of the first UEFA Cup game, or sorry, what's it called? Euro, Europa League game now it's called. Um, the first game is on June the 29th. And if, if we have it on June the 29th, he's maybe going to have to rush to rebuild his squad. And, and if, if we don't play on June the 29th, then we play on... Well, the middle of July or something in the League Cup, but at least it gives him a lot more time to to re, to reconvene a squad, to rebuild a squad. And um, I really, 
a, a, a Freddy Van Gogh that's got to be close yeah. you're okay <laughs> you're okay I couldn't agree more I, I don't want to go into into Europe if we're keeping if we're keeping the gaffer he needs that time to be able to bring some players in uh, I, I think today's proved that uh, Celtic are way out in front and unless somebody's it's probably uh, something for another programme uh, but unless somebody's going to invest a lot of money in one of the uh, premiership sides to to compete with them, uh, they're going to win it every year because they just have the revenue. You know, it comes from the Champions League, it comes from the the fan set that they've got. They've just got it sewn up. Uh, it's, it's almost like they've just kept a bit of money back for Rangers to come up and then put the foot on the pre, pre, on the pedal again, and they're going away again. That's just the way it is, and that's something that we're 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 going to have to accept. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid it's in, until until things change. Uh, my final thoughts was at one point I did get excited because it, it was two nil. We were two nil down, and I actually thought we were coming back uh, for a, a three three goals on the run, and that would have been <laughs> a bit of the week up. Uh, so two nil, I wasn't that I wasn't that worried. I was thinking actually our bet of the week was three three two, and uh, second half we were coming out and we were gonna we were gonna leather them, and everyone would have been happy. But it didn't happen, uh, and I think that's part of being a Hearts fan. Um, don't forget to to comment on the on below and uh, follow us on Twitter, uh, follow us on uh, uh, whatever you do on Facebook. Garden does that. I'm not going to call on the Facebook and uh, subscribe uh, and let people know about us. Uh, we've been Jambo Fan TV, uh, and thank you very much, and we'll speak again soon. 